Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing the cap and the rotor. Now this is really simple. Uh, again, if you note the spark plug alignment, you can see that every spark plug wire is a different size and it sits in this trough in a certain way. So, um, there's different spark plug holders for the wires. I've already pulled them out to make this easier. So what I like to do is to make sure that we have our plug wires in the same way is I unplug each wire one by one and I plug it into the new cap. Now you look for the screw holes because that's the easiest way and when you look at the screw holes for mine it's going to be a little bit different probably right around like that. I'm just going to transfer the wires right onto the cap like that. Now before we transfer those wires what you're going to want to do is take a little bit of um, conductive grease and put conductive grease on every one of these terminals and that just allows for better connection and it looks like this. I'll be doing that afterwards because as you can see I'll be changing my spark plug wires later but I'm going to show you first just in case you've already changed your wires and you are doing this afterwards. So once again once the, what you're going to do at this point is just take all those plug wires that are over there and you're going to put them onto the new cap in the same order so that way you don't mix them up. Okay stay tuned for the next part. Hey guys, so actually I found a great example to show you why you use dielectric grease. So if you take a look at these other ones, they're still nice and shiny, but see all that dirt? That came out of this one. Look at all that corrosion on top of that plug, or that piece. And if you look right here, if I bonk this, you'll see more is coming out of the spark plug wire. So this is definitely going to be, uh, I'm going to definitely be changing these wires today, but look at that. Oh, So that's why you want to make sure you put your dielectric grease in there and it's going to, or sorry, your conductive grease on those so that way you get, it'll keep the uh, terminals uh, protected against corrosion and it also makes uh, for better contact and, well, conduction. Makes sense, right? So um, I'm just gonna be leaving this one off. I know where it goes on the cap, so it doesn't really matter. And the next thing you're gonna do is if you look at each side of the cap, which is right here, you'll see a Phillips and then you'll see a Phillips on this side see if I can show you right there. See that Phillips? So that one's going to be coming off next. So that's what you're going to do next. Just pull that cap off so we can see what's going on underneath this. Okay, stay tuned. And also, if you look right here, see where there's that same part? They, they match up, so that's how you know the cap is in the same place. I meant to tell you that, but yeah, both caps have the same thing. So that's how you know you have your cap direction in the right way. Okay, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so once we get our cap off, the next thing you're going to see is your rotor. So to switch the rotor, what you're going to want to do is uh, have your new one in your other hand, but I've got my camera right now, so I'm not going to do this. You pull this up and off, and in the exact same direction this is facing, you'll see it's pretty easy to know uh, which one it's facing at. See, this blade's pretty worn out, but yeah. Um, you'll pull this out, and you'll put the new one exactly in, in the exact same position. Some people, what they'll do is they'll put a white mark on the uh, cap where they have the rotor so they can clean it up and do that all, all that other crazy stuff. Um, do it if you want to. Again, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, I'm just saying it's really easy if you just, you know, clean up around it first and then place your new rotor right on. Okay? So stay tuned and get that new rotor on. Perfect. All right, guys. So I got the new rotor on. It's really not hard. Uh, like I said, just keep note of the position. Don't make it. Basically, you just got to make sure you don't put it on backwards, and you're fine. So once it's on, um, it'll just press in. And I, as you can see, there's some goopy stuff on here. I put conductive grease on here. Uh, some people you could use dielectric grease too, but it's all up to you. The reason why I use conductive grease is because this part likes to conduct electricity. Put it on there, and the grease will help it from corroding. Again, I'm just saying this because I live out near the ocean, so we get a lot of, you know, corrosion issues, so it's a good thing to make sure that you have that. And then from here, if you did what I said with the cap or the wires, you should be able to just take this, place it right back on top, and tighten the two new screws right in. Okay, so do that, and then your new cap and rotor are in. So stay tuned for the next part if you want. I will be, uh, putting in the spark plugs and spark plug wires. So if this video helped you out, press the like button. And of course, if you want to see some more videos from me, press subscribe.